that time was uh, Nick Ferrano, and Nick Ferrano's famous deli, 66 Cross Street. Nick Ferrano has filed an application with the City of Boston Licensing Board for a beer and wine with a cordial license for famous deli located at 66 Cross Street. How are you? Okay. Um, I have a copy of the application yep. that was sent to me. We need a copy of neighborhood notification that was submitted and the address to notify. Did you did you notify? Those there's only four butters and we put something in their doors. Okay, why don't you tell the council? Um, Just like that, a uh, uh, beer and wine license, beer wine and cordials license. Um, to the, Famous Dollar location. Um, I just think about business, business about that put down there. No, could you tell us about what, how you notified folks? Okay. Did you, you put a letter on? by those four people who put it made a piece of paper stating that, you know, that we're going to apply for a license. Uh, all my information on it. That was it. Do you have a copy of that? Please? No, I didn't take it. I'm sorry. Okay. I had it in my pocket in my pants. It's just there. Okay, so what you've given us is a, what was the, the city put in yeah, the paper? Yes. The list of the four books. All right, now why don't you tell us what you're here for? Just like that, a beer and wine and coaches license the way the deli is now. Um, just a uh, help business. And I may change the menu a little bit. So I think it'll just uh, strengthen the place that it is now. Can you talk to us about the hours? Will they change in any way? Nope, not at all. Maybe change the signage? No. Uh, eventually, I may change the name. I just, uh, just change the name of it. I haven't decided to, but no, that's maybe six, eight months away. But no, no change whatsoever in anything. Business operations, interior, Nothing. exterior? No. Hours of operation? No. What are they now? Nothing. Um, I believe now we have 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. But we. we typically closed by nine every night. Some days even earlier. We've never stayed open actually past nine. Can I have another question? Go ahead. Mr. Verano, um, that area in front uh, during the winter months, sometimes the cleaning crews will, will drop their water outside and it becomes a little bit of a skating pond right yep. on the bricks there. Yeah. Um, could you maybe ask them to do that against the building rather than in the walking? traffic area? Absolutely. Yeah. I try to get them to salt as soon as they clean, okay. just to keep it clean. I do that with all the places, even in the winter, I <coughs> water, and then we just salt it as fast as we can. Okay. Okay. But I will. <coughs> go any other council members have any questions? We just had some problems in the past with businesses coming in and looking to acquire a license, and then, you know, five months later, the place is for sale. Um, do you have any plans in your future to sell um, back in our restaurant? I actually had it for sale for a while, right? But I said maybe I'm just going to just actually change the name and keep it at the very license. I also have other places that I've been there for years. But I don't know if I'm not going to maybe change. I had some things to the menu and just keep it. Okay. So you have no place to sell it right now? No, I mean, it, it has been for sale. Yes. Just so you, so you know. But no, I have no plans on getting the license to sell it. No. I get a license because business is, is way off. They don't be expected that whole area to do and I, I think everyone's actually struggling in that that a lot of us speak for anybody but in that development I really thought it was going to be really amazing and uh, it really hasn't caught on in all honesty. Yeah. But right now your place is not for sale. No, uh, it was listed for sale. Okay. Right? But I took it down. I want to get a going like this. The place does okay, it's just struggling. Any other council members have any questions? All right, anyone out there have any questions of Mr. Verano? Yeah. Go right ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Angelo Verano, and I live at the Three Webster Place, which is right off the of Food Street. And I've known Mr. Verano for 30 years. The back of my property on, at Three Webster Place mm -hmm. is the back of his property at Schrager. Mm -hmm. Since he's opened that place, it's, he's run an impeccable place, never a problem call over there, he's right there. Now, let's go back to Cross Street, where the deli is. Mm -hmm. 
that there came before my board, the Sony Board of Appeals. We approved outdoor seating there mm -hmm. with trees, with tables. That never happened. That's a great disappointment. They pay very, very high rent. And you can walk by there any day of the week and you can see that area is much more great distance. Nick Carano's got really, really a great reputation. I'd love to see him get this. This could enhance his business greatly. Whether he sells it or he doesn't sell it. He's paying a very high rent here like everybody else. And it's a great disappointment to me personally that they didn't live up to their uh, what their commitments were with the tables, with trees, with some outdoor seating. When you so, say they, who are you referring to? We'll, we'll call it the BRA, the okay. city of Boston. Okay. It wasn't it, Mr. Verano. No, no, it might be the mass turnpike. Okay. Whoever the landlords are, because you've got a little freedom trail right, right. there. We, my board, approved outdoor seating with Your board approved chairs. It. For all the establishments And it here? still isn't there. Was it and for all the establishments there? For every one of them. And it's impacted the business greatly. The so zoning, can I just ask you a question? The zoning board of appeals approved for outdoor yeah. seating for all the establishments on the street? Every one of them. And they're every, supposed to have trees? It, it never got it. When you say approved, you mean approved and bought the tables and chairs for they them? They never got it. It was supposed to be, when that place, when, if you looked at the plan, the blueprint, it showed trees, yep. it showed tables, and it showed chairs. It looked like a piazza. It looked like a little outdoor park, like mm -hmm. it is across the street. Did that ever happen? The Nikki has outdoor seating, doesn't it? Who's suffering? And who's suffering? Yeah, we got, uh, and who's the businesses that are there are suffering. I walk by there every day of the week, whether it's the pasta shop, or it's the deli, or it's the, yeah, the graffiti's got it. Mm -hmm. That's fenced in, but yeah. no one else has it. Yeah, but supposed they to have trees. Did they got for them themselves? Yeah, they, I don't know, for some reason they got it and God bless them. It looks pretty nice. Well, they put them themselves, but that's, I think, that's up to the... But uh, somebody the has to prove it. But the whole plaza was approved, mm -hmm. not just them. He said, he said that he has and as a result, the, business, the remaining businesses there were it's the Little Gelateria, yeah. or it's the Deli, or it's the Pirate. Okay, they don't have that. Let's put that over here. They're paying very, very high rents there, okay? And they're suffering. I don't see any business down here. And I would love to see uh, Nick and his, and his deli get the tonight. Whether you sell something or you don't sell it, it, it doesn't really matter because it still has an impact on your business and your livelihood and the people you are employing. Okay? And all I can speak of is his character as a businessman. From Strager on right Hanover Street that abuts the back of my property at Webster Place to Cross Street, his deli, to any one of his restaurants. He runs a really nice business. He's a good good guy and he, and he takes care of everybody. He employs a lot of people. And he deserves some consideration. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Can I say something? You, you, just a second for one second. Would you please just address the seating? Um, you do have some outdoor seating, correct? Yes, but not to what the original plans that they had approved was a lot more for everybody, including graffiti, okay. including the pasta shop, including the, the corner. It was a, 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 the area that was a lot more seating. Mm -hmm. And then it got cut back to the, you know, if you remember, before you could even pull in. Right. And they had changed it around. So right. I went to, from, I, think, I don't know what the original plan was for outdoor seating. I want to say 34, 36 seats mm -hmm. to, uh, I put uh, four tables up there that fit about 10, 12 people. Just a, a little difference. bit. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, okay. it's a little bit off topic because you're here for about. Um, yeah, yeah. For, for, no. But I'm just curious now, no, 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 as no. a neighborhood person, Absolutely. is this a dead issue or is this something that the it's chamber just, can work with the city? I on think. Or? I think eventually, hopefully, it will change. But it, it went away from the original plans. Now they, and I think everyone suffered, not just me. I think. Ooh, Especially graffiti. Yeah. I was supposed yeah. to be an old well. Yeah. I, I want to see. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's my why I least want. Okay. I'm sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. No, I just I, I, I think I think Ryan's question was taken out of context because I was certainly not questioning the character of Nick Verano because he is like a model business owner in the neighborhood. He's one of the most generous business owners in the neighborhood. Um, there have been promises on the along the along the, um, along Cross Street, and you know, and things haven't panned out the way they were supposed to. I'm, I'm sure it's because of budget reasons, but um, the reason Ryan asked that is because. People have come here and have asked for licenses, and we've granted licenses, and, you know, two, three months later, they've turned around and sold the business. That, that's the only reason he's asking. Yeah, no, one's, no one's, no one's, you know, I, I think it was just out of context, because, you know, 
Tonight's an easy night for me. I mean, you got two great business owners in there. There's not, there's not a lot of questions I have. They run businesses. I mean, he cleans the front of every business he owns, which I can, I, I can appreciate that. You know, when people talk uh, about I, clean streets. No, 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 no. I understand 100. No, they took me on that. I know what, I know, I know, I know, I know what Ryan was asking. You know, and then we have businesses that sell liquor, like beer and wines, and then they turn around and they sell their business, and then they come ask for another beer and wine. So it's it's sick. Yeah. People play musical chairs with the licenses around here. And, to be honest with you, so sometimes it's a little frustrating because I feel like they're taking advantage of the council sometimes, but you're certainly not one of those people. I actually so. have a question. Do I get charged extra because of my side script tattoo? No. Say it right. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'm going to be flexible here, so we'll let you. Um, anybody else have any questions? I didn't take it that way, by the way, when Ryan asked that. Oh, I, think, I think it's a very legitimate question, and I think that's our role as council members to ask people to come in front of us. Um, anybody out there in the audience have any questions? Go ahead, Phil. Um, this is all six other people. But I can identify yourself. Oh, no, no, regionally. There's all six other people trying to get licenses that are not available. Is there one available? I just applied for one. Um, and you have to wait for one to open. Exactly. Yeah. So but this there's is not one there right now. Not, not that I know. I, mean, I applied for one. Turn over there. Phil, this is typically a time of year where people apply because, because people don't yeah. renew. And I know. I'm just asking but if there's one. Ten can be available next week if ten didn't renew. As of right now, to answer your question, I don't believe one's there's available. Is that right? Right. That's our understanding. Anybody else have any questions or comments? So we can make them at last meeting. Would anybody like to make a motion? Comment and motion to support this item. Uh, 66 Cross I second. All in favor of supporting the application for a beer and wine and license for Nick Toronto's famous deli at 66 Clark Street. All in favor, please raise your hand. You have a second, right? Unanimous again? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Unanimous. Thank you very much.